Welcome back everybody. Look at the beautiful summer crepe myrtles. You know what that means, the height of summer. It is time to do our Halloween shopping and today we are at the Big Lot store. And before we go in, I want to say a special thank you to all the patrons who help support the channel. Your support is greatly appreciated. Thank you very much. And if anyone else out there is interested in helping to support the channel, you can check out our Patreon page in the link below. With that said, Let's go ahead and head on inside. Which is where we're going to be greeted by a few aisles of merchandise. It looks like they've got a little bit more to put out still. But one thing I really like about the Big Lot store is that they've got a good range of merchandise. So this stuff we're looking at right now, love this skull with the snake coming out of it. That is beautiful and awesome. Um, it's very gothic-y, but you'll see soon too. We've got some cutesy and some country as well. But uh, this would be my favorite of the aisles. Let's see what this does. So um, they have a lot of skulls, a lot of this sort of just general creepy decor. Um, not really a huge fan of this multicolored lighting effect. Just the way it outlines the eyes and the nose and whatnot just looks a little cheesy to me. But I do love how they're putting the snakes on everything this year. I'm going to try and incorporate that into part of my display as well. And if you know my displays, you know I love decorating with candlesticks and candelabras. And I love this one with the skeleton hand creeping around it. And it's got a nice little glow, little flicker um, to the candle itself. Whereas this one above it doesn't even scream Halloween to me. It could really be any occasion. And the flickering of the bulb, it's a little too bright. It doesn't have that nice sort of creepy glow. Look at this house. It looks like the one we saw at Cracker Barrel this year. Let's see what it does. All right, so I know we've seen that a couple of years in a row. Um, so a lot of this merchandise is uh, definitely reused from year to year, but there's still a good amount of the the newer stuff. This again is something we've seen. <laughs> They're kind of fun. They make for nice decor, but I can see how that would get pretty old pretty quick. All right, um, interesting skull colors there. We've got some, uh, again, here's a rose. I don't know what the rose theme is this year, but that doesn't exactly say Halloween to me. And look at that, like, silver. what is that on that pumpkin? Are those bones? Uh, they're doing a lot of silver this year. Um, and, and roses, obviously. Look at the rose on the, the skull here with the crow. It looks like they're kind of mixing a little too many themes going on there for my taste. All right, we do have some candles, a couple of different designs on them, and some tumblers. I think we're getting a little too many tumblers everywhere. It seems like it might just be the quick and easy and cheap decor to make, but it, I don't know, it doesn't really add much to my Halloween experience. I do love this little pillow here though. It's got a great design, but if it's not what you're looking for, um, the Home Goods store has such a huge selection this year. Uh, check out my other videos if you're interested. But this pillow is only $15. Um, that's a good price, and I think it might be a little on the cheap side compared to the home goods as well. But look at the different designs. I like the little Ouija board. That might go well with my um, fortune teller theme this year. Not sure if I can work in a chainsaw anywhere, but you know those are kind of fun as well. Look at this creepy girl. She's actually sitting on a swing, it looks like. Um, you can't, there it is. So I'm guessing she's gonna rock a little bit when we turn her on. Don't you wanna play? Come closer. I've got a secret. <laughs> now she actually will kick and make sound for a very long time, but we're gonna go ahead and Move on, we've got some inflatables, Jack Skellington, that's a design we've seen for years. 
I'm not sure though if we've seen that little mansion. Look, she's still kicking, she's still going. I imagine she's got to kick for a long time, but she'll get momentum going and be swinging for a good amount of time in her display. All right, we have a skeleton with some LCD eyes that blink. Now, come on, this little uh, skeleton in a small cage, these have been around since I was a kid. I don't think they've even updated the design. It just comes back year after year. Ah, uh, yes. The master will love you. Right this way. <laughs> I really love the way he started flashing there at the end. It really added something to that Reaper skeleton. Right now we're getting into some more of the just general decorating, sort of cutesy stuff. Nice little wreath. It's very Halloween. They're nice orange and black colors. But why do they have to add the gnomes? Um, I just don't get it. All right. Trick or treat. General. Look, we have a gnome with a, a jack-o'-lantern balloon. Actually, I think that is kind of fun. I like it. Um, that little skeleton cat's kind of Day of the Dead. I don't think I really saw anything else, though, that was Day of the Dead. Um, here's a little truck. This, don't like the windshield there. It's a little awkwardly shaped. I think we can get Halloween trucks everywhere these days and in much better uh, designs. Right, just some general signage. I wouldn't recommend buying things from here for that. I mean, you can get really good stuff at the Dollar Tree um, when they put it out. It won't be as probably thick or... Um, higher quality, but I mean, it all serves the same purpose and you wouldn't really notice. I like the boo sign. All right, we've got some pumpkins and oh, look, a little um, little cat skeleton that's kind of fluffy and fuzzy. I've seen some really expensive ones of those in some other stores lately. Must be a new trend. All right, some more signage. I don't know why anybody would need a sandwich board sign, but there you go. We have dish towels. If you haven't seen my tutorial on how to make these dish towels into pillows to put around your house, uh, I definitely recommend checking it out. I'm gonna probably make some new ones. I haven't made, I made so many one year, put them everywhere for a party and uh, they take up a huge amount of room. So I'm gonna probably, um, disassemble them, maybe make some new ones uh, for my new themes this year. We'll see. I actually use similar placemats to those um, spider webs on my dining room table every year. I've got them in a couple of different designs. I think they just really work well in basically any Halloween decor. All right, we've got a light up bat here, it's supposed to be neon. I kind of, or yeah, it's a bat, right? I kind of wish it was a different color. I just got a light up bat from Home Depot. Check out that video too. All right, love these little Nightmare Before Christmas characters. Look how cute that is. I'm a little surprised it's not more of the standard Jack Skellington look. Here's a ghost. Now he can be white, but come on, that bat should have been purple. All right, we got some spider webbing. And uh, now this stuff looks like it's straight out of Dollar Tree. That stuff up there, not these guys. These guys, we actually did see them at the Dollar Tree plus something very similar. Um, they were, I think, $5. Whereas here, it looks like you'll be paying 10. All right, here is an animated door knocker, but I don't see any way to test him. I'm kind of curious to see what he does. I don't think I've actually seen that particular design in the past. Got some light up things, some uh, these little tombstones. I said it's $18. That feels a little high. You know, Dollar Tree sells them virtually that same size. Got some light up uh, skeleton hands you could put in front of those tombstones. That would be fun cauldrons and spider webs and uh, I haven't seen these uh, battery opera oh they're stakes I think these would be cool if they were just random little candles you could put around the house I suppose you still could you didn't have to stake them in but I do like the design though not a huge fan of that lighting effect all right now these air blown inflatables are the same designs we've seen elsewhere nothing special couple of lights here. We're going to see a bunch more in a second, but before we get to that, looks like we've got some witch, uh, a set of three LED witch stakes. I'm not sure how big they are, but you may remember too. We looked at Grandin Road and the same thing was, I don't remember, well over $100, I'm sure. Um, so here is a much cheaper design for you. Speaking of cheap, we've got a $42 
Fogger. That's not a bad price at all, though I don't see what wattage it is offhand or how much it's really going to produce. All right, projection shadow lights are everywhere all the time. All right, singing string lights. I think those would get old again very, very fast. And then we have some more light-up string lights, lots of different designs. Um, it looks like these are LEDs, so that's good. Not a bad price. All right. In, in the aisle, we've got some scarecrows. And then if we make our way to the front of the store, they have this kind of reminds me of like the Dollar Tree, Dollar Spot area, but these are up to $5, I guess, and I think that's their opportunity to make it look like it might be worth more, um, because this stuff looks kind of neat, the, the mugs and whatnot, but as we get toward some of the other shelves, you're going to see a lot of this is very Dollar Tree-like, and then they start at pricing like $3. For instance, you know we've seen these little tombstones at the Dollar Tree every year, forever. For a dollar, they want three dollars here. Um, and then again, little uh, wall hangings. And, and just look at all this this little tchotchke stuff. That was only a dollar, so that's not too bad. Um, in fact, actually, that might be better than the Dollar Tree. But any of this stuff that might be a dollar is fine. I wouldn't have paid any more than that, though. A couple of beanie hats. And then we've got... Uh, some soaps at the end. I always like to put out different soap dispensers for Halloween, depending on whatever theme I'm doing. You can always find something. For instance, there was that vampire soap right there. I haven't really seen much of that before, but that would be great with my vampire theme. Um, but you've got ghosts and skulls and pumpkins. Certainly a lot to choose from. All right, well, that pretty much brings us to the end of the Halloween selection. I do think there will be more to see a little bit later in the season, so we'll be making another trip out, hopefully, to see um, what updates they have as we get closer to Halloween. So if you want to see those, be sure to stay tuned and be subscribed. So until then, take care and happy haunting.